What's up guys, Specstar here today with my week 2 battle for Dual Society and I'm going up here against Earthlab in what is my second divisional match and this is an opponent I will face again later in the season so I hope to get a good start off against him here with our first battle of the two game series and he has got himself a team here consisting of Magirna, Latios, Mega, Mamoswine, Tangrowth, Raikou and Darmanitan and the team here I've got has a Xerneas which is choice specs I've got enough speed for Mamoswine I have a Excadrill which is Iron Plate and I have speed for Mamo enough attack to make sure that I score a KO on it with the amount of bulk I predict it to have with Iron Head it's a little bit of a complicated set, and the rest I put into HP to make sure I could take some hits with it. Garchomp with some speed, and then the rest put into HP and defense. Rocky Helmet, and that is for the Darmanitan, of course. Oh, I forgot to say Excadrill's moveset, I think. It was Earthquake, Iron Head, Toxic, and Rapid Spin. Toxic, just to make sure I could wear down that Tangrowth or anything that really wanted to come in on it. Next up, my Chomps moveset is Earthquake, Toxic, Stealth Rock, and Dragon Claw, I believe was the set. <laughs> I'm not the best at remembering my sets, as you guys know. I remember them in the battle, I guess that's what matters. My Skarmory is physically defensive with Toxic, Spikes, Roost, and Defog, just to make sure I could kind of handle hazards. I was expecting potentially an early rock to get up, which I wanted to get out of the way, and then later in the game I could potentially hazard stack. That was kind of where my mind was. Next up, I've got a Slowking, which is fully specially defensive with Calm Mind, Scald, Psy Shock, and Slack Off. And lastly, I have, lastly but not least, I've got an Incineroar, which is Adamant. Assault Vest with 252 in HP, 252 in attack, pretty basic set. I've got uh, Earthquake, Knock Off, Darkest Lariat. I wanted to have both because Knock Off was better for a lot of his team, but Darkest Lariat gave me the power to hit Mega Latios, which Knock Off does significantly less to. Or no, I didn't have Earthquake, did I? I had U Turn and Flare Blitz as my last two moves. There we go. Botched it, but I got myself. So, anyway, here I wanted to lead off with Xerneas, and that's because if he potentially led off with something like Latios, Mamoswine, or Tangrowth, I could put a lot of pressure on him. He does not come in on Moonblast well. If he led off with Magirna, I was comfortable going into Slowking, and if he led off with Darmanitan, I was comfortable going into my Garchomp. So, that's what I'm going to do here. I'll lead off with my Xerneas, he leads off with Darmanitan, and I'm perfectly fine going into my Garchomp, Rocky Helmet, significant HP investment. I'm going to do more damage to him, and he's going to bring in his Mamoswine. I'll just go into my Skarmory, if he gets rocks up I can defog them away. He's going to knock off and actually showed. This is pretty weird, but according to my calcs, he appeared to be not fully 252 attack life orb so it wasn't adamant it was probably jolly i'm guessing and it based on that damage it was not fully invested in attack which was uh, pretty curious to me but it made skarmory's job of dealing with it a lot easier so based on that damage i figured he would just get the hell out he was not doing too much he probably didn't want to stay in on the skarm if he opted to attack me i could have roosted up the next turn provided i wasn't flinched so here I decided to get up my spikes, as here my dog comes and gets in the way of my commentary. I'll get up my spike as he brings in Magirna. I'll bring in my Slowking, which is a fairly reliable answer to this thing. First turn I'm just going to calm mind up, kind of see what he wants to do. I know I'm for sure out of range of another Thunderbolt, so I'm just going to slack off here. Now I think he would want to switch out because he sees he's not winning this battle. So I just fire off a Scald on this thing. I want to get some damage off on something. Potentially a burn chance on Tangrowth plus a spike if he does go out into it. Instead he opts to go into Raikou and with Scald I'm going to get off pretty healthy damage on that. And I was very happy with that. So here I'm going to go into my Excadrill. He's not shiny so he's not Rash or Sphere which means my Excadrill is a fairly 
reliable switching on it. He could hit me with Hidden Power Fire, I guess, but I was not banking on him immediately going for it. He was on a Tangrowth, and I'm going to miss a Toxic, but I, as I go for my second Toxic, it's actually not going to matter because he goes for a Toxic himself, which is very fortunate for me. So here, now that the thing's poisoned, I just want to go to my Skarmory. I can roost off any sort of thing it wants to go for, Hidden Power, or whatever. And I'm going to get up a second layer of Spike as he knocks me off. Now he's going to go for his Leech Seed, and I'm just going to roost up, get my health back, keep this thing nice and healthy for Mammal later. He's going to switch out into Raikou as I roost up. Uh, that thing's getting pretty decently chipped down, although the seeds are helping him with a lot of the damage that the spikes did. Here I'm going to go into my Excadrill, which I'm fairly confident in being an answer to it. He's going to sub up. Still doesn't scare me because he would be shiny if he was Aura Sphere. So I'm going to go right for an Earthquake, break the thing's sub. He calm mines, still not scared of this thing. I take a Hidden Power Fire, Ground, Water, whatever. And I'm going to be able to take him out with another Earthquake. And he's actually going to show to be Shuckaberry, but definitely not enough at that low of health. Now he'll bring his Tangrowth back in, and I'm going to go into my Skarmory, which I'm confident in being a reliable answer. Based on what I've seen from him, I'm pretty sure it's not Sleep Powder. He'll bring out Magirna, and I'm just going to go into my Slowking. I'm guessing Tangrowth's last move is going to be a Grass move, which is why I'm so confident and comfortable going into my Skarmory. Here he's going to Volt out with his Magirna as I bring my Slowking in on it, and I'm just going to slack off. He brings in his Megalatios, this thing doesn't really scare me right now because I'm not sure how he's going to break me. Dragon Dance I guess would be one potential way, but I didn't think that would be going off right here right now. And I did have some options if he did go for that. So I'm going to calm mine up and he actually toxics me which will force me out. So here I'm going to have to bring out my Incineroar on a Thunderbolt and munch it because I'm a salt vest and Incineroar is a bulky boy. He's going to Toxic me, I'm going to U-turn predicting him to actually switch this thing out, which he doesn't. So here I'll take my chance to bring Xerneas in and with two layer spikes put a ton of pressure on. And Xerneas is going to get its second KO of the season here. It's 2 out of 15 for my bet with Horus. And I will take that thing down. He'll bring Darmanitan in and I'm always comfortable bringing Chomp in. If he tries to pull a double, I've got spikes up on his side. He doesn't have any layers on my side, so I gain from that. He's going to take a ton of recoil, and I'm actually just going to opt to get my rocks up here if he wants to let the thing go down, which he does. Rocks up going to be very nice for helping me wear down the remainder of his team, and it's not like I was really needing to attack him there. He brings out Tangrowth on my chomp. I'm just going to go into Skarmory as I've done this game. Here I decide I'm just going to get up another layer of Spike, just further wear down his team, make this easier to deal with. And he's going to bring out his Magirna, which is fine with me, although I'm a little bit concerned about my Skarmory getting too weakened. Here I'm actually going to bring out my Excadrill, and here I think he's going to switch it out here now that Excadrill's in into either Mamo or Tangrowth. And with Skarmory being this low, I'm worried that he gets Mamma Swine in it and I don't have that reliable of switching for it. I want to prevent that from happening. So I'm actually going to pull the double into my Skarmory to give me a chance to roost up on one of his two Mons. He does wind up switching, so I am able to get my health back on Skarmory, which is just the safest way for me to secure the end of this game. He's going to wind up seeding my Skarmory, which is fine with me. I'm still at 88%, which is a decent amount of health. And I'm actually going to pull the switch into my Xerneas just to put some pressure on him. He's going to knock me off, but with my hazards up, he still can't switch in on this thing, and he still can't take a hit. So I'm just going to go right for my Moonblast, take that thing out. And now he's going to bring out his Magirna because it can force me out. It's not yet in range of Moonblast, but it can't come in hard on it ever. And here I'm just going to go right into my Incineroar in case he had something to try and catch Excadrill with. Plus I had to keep Excadrill out of range of Ice Shard and I was thinking about that now. I knew it took most hits from Magirna relatively well. He's going to Volt out and I'm just going to U-turn myself. 
I could have went into either Excadrill or Xerneas here to win the game, but I gotta bet with Horus about how many KOs Xerneas will get, so I choose Xerneas here. And Xerneas is gonna go ahead and get its number four KO of the season here. And then he's gonna bring out Magirna, and it's gonna get number five. For those of you not familiar with their bet, I bet Horus that Xerneas would get 15 KOs in this 13 game season. He bet me that it wouldn't. And it's pace now in two games, it's five of 15, as I do take down his re the remainder of his Pokemon. And I'm gonna move on to two and zero plus 12, a phenomenal start, not just helping me in the standings, but taking down two of my division rivals, which is very great for my standings. Next up, I face Horus, who is the third of my three division opponents, and he's 2-0, so should be a, definitely a closer game than these two, although it can't really be further, right? can only get closer. Very happy about how the season started. Looking forward to the outlook of my season here, but I gotta keep up the pace. I mean, there's no way, no way, no room to take my foot off the pedal now. And that's gonna be it for this video. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a good night.